Okay, this is a uh, assembling a portafilter pressure tester. Um, this is what we're going to attempt. There's the portafilter here. T, two converters, a gauge, and a valve, and then a hose off to the side. Um, got all the parts laid out here. Don't have the hose right here, but see that later. Um, basically, just got a few wrenches just to tighten things and some Teflon tape for the threads. Um, don't know if this gauge is going to work. It's not a, a dampened gauge, it's just a cheapo Home Depot um, water bib tester. Um, what I did was I used a wrench and taking off the uh, water bib section we'll go ahead and put that aside um, so let's start from one end and work the other way just single loop there this is Home Depot stuff. And not the right size. Or that's the one. Wrong side. <laughs> Scratch that. Let's go with this one. Because this one has the larger diameter for this. And this is the, what, 9 sixteenths and probably 11 sixteenths. enough should be. Now this is the T that right in the middle of the portafilter connects to the center part. Again we'll throw a dab of Teflon tape on the thread. Helps with the sealing. in here. Probably go one more time. And not sure what size this is going to be. Now I'm thinking the portafilter is going this is going to be the portafilter right here. So we want the gauge to be facing us. So I'm going to tighten it up and come around one time so that it's somewhat facing us it up a little bit. And there's oops, there's that. Oops, there's that. Uh, this is that piece that we started with to begin with. It has a smaller diameter. It's a 3 8 by 1 8 because our valve is a little 1 8 jobby. throw some more Teflon tape on this. One or two loops around should do the trick for us here I believe. Uh, just going to make sure that I keep any of the Teflon filaments out of the hole so that it doesn't get into the system. Um, so then this goes on the end here. Do a quick tightening of this.
These are all food grade uh, tools. <laughs> yeah, right. This is just for testing. We're not going to be drinking anything out of this. Um, and the last part is the valve. That's, uh, we can also, um, we can close the valve off and look at the maximum pressure that the port filter is putting out. And uh, then we should be able to just slightly crack it a little bit, release some pressure, and hopefully simulate a uh, operational port filter um, relieve some of the pressure and that way we'll see what what a puck is really getting for pressure and I've only been at this for about two weeks so uh, make an espresso our previous espresso maker I don't think could be even classified as an espresso maker <laughs> once I learned what it really takes to make good espresso and I still don't know yet for sure because I won't show you my grinder because we haven't got a new grinder yet and from what I hear that's a big deal and we should be picking up a new one in the next week or two We also want to um, we want to do the same thing with this. We want to make sure that the valve, when this is installed, that the valve is accessible. Um, since this is the porta filter and this is up, what I'm going to do is I probably tightened it too much. But I'm going to try to bring the valve over here so it's straight on, sticking out, so that we can get to it. See if I can do that without tightening this up too much. Okay. That uh, oops. It's also one of my first uh, videos, so bear with me here. Um, so there is the assembled unit, kind of like the picture. Um, I've already removed from the um, bottom of the porta filter the pouring spout. Um, a little dirty. Didn't do a good brush cleaning on the last one. Uh, that's the heck of it. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of Teflon on this. I don't know what it's going to just might as well hopefully I can oh look at that see we're going to have a little bit of a problem because the gauge is going to hit so what I will have to do is rotate that gauge a little bit what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to back it off so it's a little bit flatter and up. So now it's kind of looking like 